won't stop? <laughs> That's all I know. Uh, I'm really pleased to be joined here today uh, by my colleague, the uh, resident commissioner, uh, Carol Lucy, uh, and the veterans of the 65th Infantry Regiment to introduce uh, House Resolution 1723, a bill awarding the Congressional Gold Medal to Puerto Rico's 65th Infantry Regiment, also known as the Boracaneers. When the Korean War erupted in 1950, the soldiers of the regiment served in a segregated unit, despite President Truman's order desegregating the military two years earlier. Army commanders doubted the effectiveness of the Puerto Rican troops, calling them rum and Coca-Cola soldiers. They were required to use separate showering facilities and ordered under penalty of court-martial not to speak Spanish. They were even told to shave their mustaches until they gave proof of their manhood. Despite this adversity, the regiment embraced their Hispanic heritage and called themselves the Boracaneers. The regiment served with distinction during the Battle of Cove Sin Reservoir in December 1950. Fighting alongside the 1st Marine Division, they covered one of the greatest strategic withdrawals in military history. Fighting is in temperatures as low as negative 37 degrees, the Boracaneers were among the last defenders of the Hungang Harbor and suffered tremendous casualties. The regiment later participated in numerous battles, conducting the last recorded battalion-sized bayonet charge in Army history. Though they struggled with the grave shortage of trained non-commissioned officers and personnel policies that pushed it to the breaking point, they overcame these challenges, fighting valiantly and earning the respect and admiration of their commanders and fellow soldiers. The Borkineers are part of a proud tradition of service in the face of adversity that includes the Tuskegee Airmen, the Monfort Point Marines, the Navajo Indian Code Talkers, and the Japanese American 442nd Battalion, Regimental Combat Team, all of whom have already received the Congressional Gold Medal. I therefore uh, rise in support of the Borkineers, the forgotten soldiers of a forgotten war, and urge all the colleagues in the House to join us in co-sponsoring House Resolution 1723 to give the Borkineers their long overdue recognition. And our goal is not to get 290 co-sponsors. Our goal is to get 433 co-sponsors. <laughs> God bless the Borkineers, and God bless America. Thank you. Thank you.